Hi, as we all seem to be spending a lot more time at home at the moment, um, I thought I'd make this quick video about um, how you can change IP country of the connection you're using. Now, every internet connection, including mine, yours you're watching through now, um, has an IP address. It's basically an unique network address that you use to connect to the internet. But what a lot of people don't know is that IP address has a, has a nationality, if you like. Um, at the moment, I've got a British IP address because I'm in the UK. Um, yours could be American, France, German, wherever. Um, basically, the location you're in. And now this is important because, for instance, my British IP address at the moment allows me to watch BBC iPlayer without uh, a problem. So I can go into BBC iPlayer and watch anything I like <coughs> without an issue. Which is good because it's my favourite site. But... If I go to one of my other favorite sites, this one's called Pandora, it's uh, an online jukebox. You can see here, Pandora says you can't watch this because it's only available in the US. So my nationality, IP address nationality, determines what I can see. If I went to a French site, um, you'll get blocked from that if you're not in France. Uh, what's six, six play? Which is a, a French TV site. If I try and access uh, a program on this, uh, let's just see. See, I get a message again basically saying that um, they haven't got the rights for this program, so. Um, because they can't show it in uh, this location. So there you go. So that's three areas. I can watch the BBC, I can't watch Pandora, and I can't watch uh, M6 Replay. Okay, let me just show you how you can change your country IP address. You can do it by using something called a VPN. Now, first of all, I should um, clarify that you can't actually change the, either the, your IP address or the nationality of your IP address. What you can do is become completely anonymous online and hide your IP address and replace it with one from a VPN server. These are Nord VPNs servers. This is the little um, program sits in my taskbar. I've also got the app on my phone and on my tablet. Uh, basically, whenever I want to change country, I just open it up and you can see this little um, map here. These are all the VPN servers. There's just about every European country, I think, and lots in the Far East, Australia, New Zealand, uh, some in South America, only South Africa covered. I don't think there are any other African countries. No, uh, Mexico, but basically quite a large um, range of um, countries across the world. And these are all available for me to change to. So let's just give you a quick example. I wanted to watch Pandora. Uh, sorry, listen to Pandora, rather the online jukebox site which I've been using for many years um, but it was blocking me because I had a British IP address so now I'm going to connect to the United States can you see here I have all I've done is click on uh, um, one of Nord's UK uh, US servers now when I go to the site it probably helps if I spell it right oh. Here we go. Uh, I don't know if you remember just now um, when I went to Pandora, it gave me a little message saying I'm not in the US. It's not available. Blah, blah, blah. Go away. This time, not a problem. I can just go in and just pause that. And Pandora works perfectly. I should point out if I go to BBC iPlayer now, that won't work because I've got an American IP address. So... Let's just stop that. And there. You can see how useful it is to be able to change country. So basically, you can go to NordVPN, let it sit down there. When, um, when I disconnect, I'll go back to a UK IP address, so all my British stuff will work. In your case, it depends where you are. I mean, if you're in... Um, <coughs> If you're in Greece, you'll have a Greek IP address uh, and then you can change it to whichever one you want. 
and then disconnect you'll go back to your default which is kind of the most useful for most everyday things but you can basically change your IP address to any of these countries I think there's about 40 50 countries there and um, access content at will as well so you just change your country IP whenever you need to lots of the YouTube videos are only available to certain countries you may find um, if you want to access sites, I personally use the US IP addresses, um, Australian, Canadian, and I also watch um, some of the Irish TVs and movies, and I also watch French TV um, to try and improve my French. Okay, so that's all for now. Um, I hope you've uh, found this um, useful. Well, I'll just close off my connection here. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.